Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nirmal here and in this video, we'll be doing a performance test of the iQ Neo 6. So iQ Neo 6 comes with the Snapdragon 870 chip and uh, we get uh, either 8GB RAM or the 12GB RAM and this is one of the really powerful devices in the sub 30k price segment. So iQ says that this is a really good uh, device for gaming as well. It also has uh, the liquid cooling and the vapor chamber cooling. So uh, let's see how good uh, the device is in terms of performance especially in terms of throttling. So we'll be doing a CPU throttling test and see if there is any throttling happening on this device. Then we'll do the anti benchmark score as well as uh, the Geekbench uh, score and see how good the performance of this device is. So this device is pretty good hardware. Let's see how it turns uh, into the performance. So let's get started with the performances. So before that, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin. So this is an IQ Neo 6. Let's start with uh, the performance testing. First, we'll uh, see the CPU throttling test. So uh, let's just go to the about phone. So system, uh, there you go, about phone. So iQ Neo 6, uh, it's the Qualcomm's uh, Snapdragon 870 Octa-Core processor. We have the top end variant, the 12 gigabyte RAM, which also supports uh, 4 GB virtual RAM. And uh, we have 12 gigabyte RAM, uh, I mean 12 Android 12, and 256 gigabyte uh, storage is offered. So this is the variant. So we'll be testing uh, the device. Uh, iQ claims this is a really good device for gaming. Uh, in this price segment so let's see uh, if there is any cpu throttling happening we'll also see the anti score as well as the geekbench score so first let's start with uh, uh, the cpu throttling test so we'll uh, do the test for 15 minutes and see how the performance is so let's start the testing So you can see that uh, we have done with the performance uh, test and you can see here CPU throttle to 86% of its max performance. So that's pretty good and uh, you can see the max performance 248 gips and here we have the average value as 225k and here we have the minimum as uh, 201. So it's pretty good actually in terms of uh, uh, the CPU uh, performance. So let's also see the temperature after this test. So you can see here it's uh, just uh, 38 degrees, no heating actually. Even with uh, this uh, throttling test, it didn't go beyond that. So that's the temperature of this device. Next, let's uh, go with the antitude test. So you can see that this is the Antutu benchmark score we got uh, for the iQ Neo uh, 6, 7,20,000 and you can see the CPU score, GPU score, memory score and uh, the UX score as well. So this is the final result uh, for the iQ Neo 6. Let's proceed to the Geekbench uh, results as well. So here are the uh, Geekbench score, the single uh, core score as well as the multi core score. So that was the performance testing of uh, the iQ Neo 6. Uh, so overall you can see uh, in terms of throttling as well, I didn't have any sort of issues. Uh, the anti score is pretty good. So overall it's a really good performing device for the 30,000 price segment, especially if you are into gaming. This uh, is a really good device uh, with good performance all around. So that was the performance testing of the iQ Neo 6. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.